Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016. And today in our little news update, if you've been going crazy last year with Windows 10 trying to update on your computer, well, things are moving a little closer to you going back to being crazy on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Microsoft has, starting today, changed the status of the update to Windows 10 from optional to recommended. So that means you'll be annoyed even more with the Windows 10 upgrade process. Microsoft is really pushing hard for everybody to upgrade to Windows 10 and uh, it really shows that they want you to go to Windows 10. Still, I think that you know some of you don't want and um, I understand why and you know what one of my uh, Windows 10 older laptops I brought it back to Windows 7 for the simple reason that there are a few uh, items that I need to have it work with that didn't work very well in Windows 10 so I brought it back and of course these messages will be there annoying me so uh, let's hope that they eventually put a little something there that you can just say I don't want Windows 10 please stop bothering me WhatsApp has reached 1 billion users. WhatsApp is now part of Facebook, as uh, some of you may know. And uh, they've uh, dropped the 99 cents a year subscription rate to uh, zero. And uh, now they've passed the 1 billion users. Pretty amazing when you think about it. Um, WhatsApp is a very popular messaging service. And um, I don't know how they're going to monetize this, though. Uh, that's interesting because you know 1 billion users they dropped the price which wasn't very high 99 cents a year is not a problem for most problem is uh, they also said they won't be ad putting ads on so I don't know how they can monetize such a platform but uh, at least 1 billion users that's pretty amazing when you think about it Gmail also pretty amazing uh, 1 billion monthly users to Gmail as they were released today, the numbers of the users. So 1 billion users monthly on Gmail. That's probably making it the biggest email service of all. Uh, you know, not very far ago, I remember Yahoo Mail being one of the most popular email services ever. And also uh, Outlook, the um, Hotmail, famous Microsoft Hotmail accounts were very popular. It seems Gmail is gaining more and more. But one of the things that probably makes this uh, even more interesting is that with the high usage of Google Chrome browsers well using a Gmail helps you synchronize everything so you got an email you got everything synchronized you got uh, you know lots of uh, online stuff like Google Docs and all sorts of uh, online services like uh, um, Hangouts and so on so um, you know it's a very complete service so Gmail at 1 billion monthly users Windows 10, we were talking about yesterday, Windows 10 being now on um, 11 um, point something percent of, 11.85 uh, I think, percent of uh, computers. And there was a big jump, basically, um, a big jump in uh, numbers. And they were saying that, uh, first of all, if you look at the statistics of Windows 10, it is now there are more users of Windows 10 than users of Windows XP, more users of Windows 10 than Windows 8.1. Now, there's one little thing about Windows 8. If you put Windows 8 and 8.1 together, because yes, some people are still on 8 and not 8.1, uh, Windows 10 is not yet past the 8 and 8.1 together, but it has passed 8.1 um, if you just take Windows 8.1. So now it's heading for the giant, the only other operating system that it can check for that wants to uh, to reach is Windows 7, which is very far away. Um, another statistic that's interesting about Windows 10 usage um, is that if you put all the Mac OS 10 computers together, all versions, Windows 10 is more users, uh, three times more users than the OS 10 users all put together. That's pretty interesting when you think about it. Uh, the latest 
numbers for also the last version of uh, OS X, which is El Capitan, um, also shows that it's extremely, extremely small market share there for uh, Windows. So uh, it's pretty, uh, um, not for Windows, but for um, Mac OS X, sorry. So it's pretty interesting when you look about it. So uh, interesting numbers here. Uh, Windows 10 heading for a, uh, I think, a glorious future. Uh, and also, there was a uh, increase in Windows 10 installs and uh, users in the holiday season. And I'm pretty sure the big jump that we had in December is probably in July, uh, January also, is due to new computers and tablets that people got in the holiday season that run Windows 10 probably also. So that's interesting little numbers about Windows 10, and let's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, as we get through the uh, end slowly of the free upgrade to Windows 10, what's going to happen um, later this year. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? You'll be informed when your videos are online. If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. This was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016. One thing that you need to know is that today we have our live shows on this channel. So we'll have our 90 minute answering your questions from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Yes, it is now 90 minutes because I'm going to have a little more time to prepare for the 6 uh, o'clock. Learn the tech, show number three. Unfortunately, unless I get unlocked on the other channel, we probably lost the first two episodes of Learn the Tech. But uh, today, Learn the Tech, show number three will be about audio formats, but you know, digital audio and where it starts, we'll start at the beginning with the introduction of the CD. And we'll end with today's high quality audio players. And uh, I think that's gonna be really interesting to see the different formats available. So 3 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time for um, answering your questions. That's 20 to 21.30 Universal Time. And Learn the Tech, 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern, 23 to 0 hundred hours Universal Time. Hope you can join us on these live shows. And thank you for following us.